So we're standing outside the Kinetica Art Show. This, in my opinion, is one of the most exciting art shows around at the moment. It brings together technologists and creatives and scientists and artists from all over the world showing what I think is the most exciting contemporary art at the moment. Now, um, I don't use the word contemporary art lightly. Contemporary in, in the sense of it being relevant to the second. It is now. And, and, and I think what's really exciting about it is that it pokes the, 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 the notion of contemporary art in the eye because I don't know, I'm, I'm not an archaeologist, but just let's say roughly a few hundred thousand years ago, there was this moment in evolutionary history which was unique. It was the point where some like hairy ape um, picked up a piece of chalk, looked at the wall of a cave, took the piece of chalk and drew a figure. In terms of evolution, it was a spark it was the beginning of the new era of, of development, the new era of evolution, the new time, um, which, which now is represented by everything we see around us. And I don't think that since then, there's been as relevant a moment in art as now. We live in an era where we leave this trail of information there's a digital footprint wherever we go. In the modern lives that we leave, we're leaving this gigantic resource of meta-information out on the, on the broader cloud that represent in a fundamental way who we are. The reality is that we do exist way beyond ourselves on hard drives around the world. So throughout history, um, artists have used the tools available to them. Now, the issue that I've got with all of, all of these artists, other than the artist who invented the camera, is that they were still using the same medium as the caveman. So for me, despite the Kandinsky's of this world, the Dali's of this world, they, they really were using traditional tools in the same way. And so whilst I love their art, I don't totally feel it. We get to now, we get to today, mass processing power um, on a scale unprecedented in evolution is giving us access to a new form of expression which I think is truly, truly, truly exciting. The coming together of science and art in a way that I could only dream of when I was a child. I'm going to have a moment here and put for, I'm about algorithms, I'm, a, I'm about algorithms and I invite you all to come to my stand afterwards where I'm showing some of my sculptures because they all encapsulate different aspects of the meta-ego from the financial world to the environment. So this guy over here, the one who's um, not in his stand at the moment, um, is, is I think touching on the beauty of algorithms in a way that I think th that is incredibly deep. So what happens, two people sit on those swings and the interaction of the two people, um, the interaction of the two people ends up making the stick in the middle cause a, a pattern. And so e each design is unique to the way two people resonate with one another. I just think it's so beautiful. We've got to the point now where I think contemporary means, I, I think it's gone down to days, possibly milliseconds. But I think days, and so I look now, I look at, I look at all of the art here at Kinetica, and I think this art is truly contemporary because it's of the moment. Is this art? No. Oh. We are the generation that have grown physically. Only a few years ago, the surface area of the human body was two meters squared. If you take into account the aspects of ourselves, our meta-egos, the aspects of our meta-egos that are on the server in China, the server in Minnesota, the physical expansion of ourselves, we've grown to be 500 kilometers squared. Each one of us in this world, in this space, somehow we've made as a species enough space for each of us to be the size of the earth. We are Generation Pi.